just yesterday, OpenAI just had their 2024 dev date and they dropped game changing updates and demos, which we're going to take a look at today. First off, there is a new real time API mind blowing speech to speech experience. OpenAI now introduced a real time console React app similar to how Anthropic has artifacts, but in this case, it's an open source repo to start building. A new vision to fine tune APIs. They have greatly cut prices where they've introduced prompt caching in the API. Model distillation in the API is now enabled for you to fine tune a cost efficient model and many more small things. Let's now go in depth on each update and showcase all these capabilities. Starting off with the open source open AI real time console. It is a new React app for inspecting, building, and debugging with a real-time API. And it is something that you can get started with today. Just take a look at this demo video, which will showcase the capabilities. To give a quick demo of the real-time console available live on OpenAI's GitHub um, as an easy way to build and hack together real-time API apps. So I'm going to connect uh, in VAD mode, which is voice activity detection. Hello there. How can I assist you today? Hey there, can you tell me something about San Francisco in a thick Scottish accent? San Francisco, aye. It's a bonny city on the west coast of the States, known for its steep hills, all right, the all right, iconic- all right. I, I think I get it. Next up is a pretty big update, which is the real-time API. And this is where developers can now build fast speech-to-speech -speech experiences into their application. Now, previously, to create a similar voice assistant experience, you as a dev would have to transcribe the audio with an automatic speak recognition model like Whisper, where you would pass the text to text model for inference or reasoning and then play the model's output using a text to speech, which is where this approach often resulted in a loss of emotion, emphasis, as well as accents, plus notably on the latency issue. Now, the real-time API is going to improve all this by streaming the audio inputs and outputs directly, and it's going to enable for a more natural conversation experience. It can also handle interruptions automatically, which you saw with the console video previously, much like how advanced voice modes can be used in ChatGPT. Now, I want you to take a look at this demo, which will explore this further in detail. What uh, I want to show you today is something that we call real-time role plays as the first thing that we're launching on top of the real-time API. Part of what's really cool about it is that speech to speech and the multimodality really allows us to understand more than just the pure text transcript of what a user is saying into the app. Uh, ¿Dónde está el baño? The word baño is pronounced ba-ño with a soft ñ sound like in the English word canyon. Can you try saying that again? ¿Dónde está el baño? Perfecto. El baño está al fondo a la derecha. And the model basically has a lot of the very human-like capabilities of a real human teacher. Like, how amazing is that? Next up, we have vision fine-tuning, which is something that is quite nifty. As you can fine-tune images with GPT-4 Omni, Free training until October 31st, up to 1 million tokens a day. Now, this is probably one of my favorite features coming out of Dev Day, where they've now introduced prompt caching in the API. This is where you can now reuse recently seen input tokens at a 15% discount, which is really big in my opinion. Now, this is the price reduction that you get for the new prompt caching within OpenAI. You can see the uncached input tokens for all of these models from 01 all the way to GPT-4 Omni. And you can see that with the cached input tokens, it slices it in half, which is definitely amazing for the GPT-4 Omni. Now, obviously the preview and the mini are expensive, but you can see the open one 01 mini is similar to how it would be with the GPT-4 Omni, just a 25 cent like increase, but you can see that this would be greatly important for a lot of developers utilizing the open AI API. In regards to model distillation, you can now use workflows to fine tune smaller cost efficient models using outputs from larger models, which is quite interesting. Within the playground, there is a new rapid prototyping feature where you can simply just describe and type what you want and you'll receive prompts and schemas automatically. 
This is something that you can access today within the playground of OpenAI. Now, something cool that also came out is that OpenAI launched a new model, which is the Whisper Large Version 3 Turbo. This is where they've introduced a new cutting edge speech to text model that's eight times faster than its predecessor and it uses two times fewer parameters than previous versions. Now this major improvement means faster and more efficient transcriptions for developers working with audio data and this is quite big. Here are some cool videos from Dev Dave where they showcase how they built an iPhone app using the O1 model with just one shot prompt in 30 seconds. Sure. OpenAI Dev Day is an annual event where developers, researchers, and enthusiasts gather to learn about the latest advancements and tools from OpenAI. Cool, it's Thank a great you. Uh, could you, Glad you uh, think so. Could you, uh, could you whisper a little secret, like your best kept secret about being a great developer? Here's a little secret for you. The key to being a great developer is to never stop learning. Awesome. Stay here. <laughs> <laughs> So, as you can tell, here's a cool video where they showcase how they use the Owen Mini to program a drone to fly and stream from scratch live on the stage. Boom. I'm gonna put it down right here. That's what happens. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's the it's the time to put it to test. So, let's go here and start the server we just created. Cool. Let's take a look at the UI now. Uh, if I, it's good news, the battery level showed up. Let's start a video stream. Does that work? It does. Awesome. Let's, let's actually try the real thing. <laughs> the buttons are working. Amazing, I can go it higher. This is a good time for a drone selfie. Uh, awesome, and we can now land. Now this demo is possibly my favorite one because this is where they showcase the real-time API and it streams back both text and audio in real-time with function calling. By far the most exciting announcement and it still seems kind of hard for developers to use and implement on their own but we have this video that showcases the capability of it. 400, are you sure you want 400? I think that'll be around like $1,415.92. Awesome. <laughs> Great, where would you like that delivered? And that's about it for today's video on OpenAI Dev Day. I hope you found this video to be helpful and you got some sort of idea of, as to what happened in OpenAI Dev Day. This was definitely a great launch by OpenAI. They've done a great job in updating everyone on the advancements that they have been making over the past couple of months. So huge props to the OpenAI team. I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in terms of all the sources in the description below. So take a look at that. If you haven't already, make sure you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access different subscriptions as well as our private Discord where we chat about AI continuously with new updates every single day as well as providing different subscriptions to AI tools. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that, or start on the Twitter so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.